Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Update on ESP Kennel Club. I got it working. I will, uh, let me show you a little bit of gameplay, then I'll show you kind of roughly what I had to do to, to troubleshoot it. So right now I only have one controller. One of the uh, receivers inside the machine is actually the snap module, it's uh, channel 10, is missing the ferrite core. And this is supposed to be a tuned piece where the core is turned in and glued in place where uh, I need to find one of these and then this game will be done. I have both receiver tr uh, transmitters and I believe they're both working. You might be able to see up here I got 9 volts feeding this transmitter. And when I press the button it draws 0.04 amps and the other one does the same thing. It's complete. It looks like it's in good shape, not no corrosion. I just have to replace, there's two nine volt battery connectors in both of them. because There's supposed to be two batteries in parallel, giving nine volts, but just more amps available. Uh, I need to replace all those battery holders in both of them and get four batteries and they can clean them up. Then they're, they're pretty much should be ready. Uh, as far as uh, this is concerned, it's, it's working. It's giving the lap down. This is where it's supposed to be when it's in track mode. But when you give it a credit, that's what it was not doing before. It was not going to there off and incrementing, incrementing the uh, the game. Now, uh, since there's only one controller, the cool part about this game is you can race two dogs at the same time. We have the white dog and the yellow dog. This is probably could be a little bit tighter, a little bit more clean. So I'm just going to press the button and release. Now. Um, they're off, turned off when I release the button. Now, even if I don't release, every dog will increment one length. But if I hold the button down and release it right when I think the rabbit is at where it should be, right button next to my dog, it should, oh, I keep missing it. Uh, it should take more than one length. There we go, we got a few. So uh, that's, the, that's the trick is to release it when the dog is at that that lap point or right next to your rabbit so that's kind of cool where two guys two friends could sit there we hang on the wall i mean playing actively i don't know sensitivity or if there's anything else that needs to be uh dialed in i uh, may put some leds in here i'm not sure but this is also the other panel that i showed you that does that does not have the sticker here but it also doesn't have the damage it has some white i'm going to see what i can do on that but frame is all together fits on the original case power and switch on top. So as those dogs walk, run around, I'm going to show you the back side again. One of the feet is uh, missing. So, okay. So looking at the back side, I just want to uh, point out a little bit of work that I did. Uh, these are our two receiver boards again, and if you notice, I got my core for number 11 down here. Do not have it up there. And when I press this button, here's my logic board. You can see this little LED lights up. Now on the other board, uh, the other logic board, this other LED that was burnt out before, and I can simulate that by hooking a wire to the ground. And I'm just going to touch this orange wire. And uh, I did test it. It does actually progress the dog when I do that. So um, I had to replace this LED here. That that fixed that problem. Now uh, after now the biggest thing is I wasn't incrementing. I wasn't getting my my coin. Pretty much it wasn't coining up. That was the only thing. I looked in the book and it said. There is a counter that is chip A12, which is a 74192, that needs to be given a signal to count up. But looking in the book, I don't know, in the schematic here, there is the 74192. There's a 7474 chip that receives the signal from the uh, switch, and I put a logic probe on each of those inputs and um, one of them they just weren't acting right so i pulled that chip off and they started acting right so i think something in that chip was shorted and uh causing it not to send the pulse the other thing is before i pulled that chip i took a positive from the, the five volt logic coming in here and i shorted it to this output pin pin five 
and then that incremented up and actually started the game. So that told me that the problem was not past this 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 pulse. It was before this. So it was something you were in my switches. These are coming from the switch box. One of these resistors. Now the other thing I notice is um, there's an additional resistor bridging over C4, even though it's one R11, and I wasn't getting a low when it should have gone low. I wasn't getting a high. It was like it, it was it was not fully pulsing, but it does work. I didn't pull anything out. I don't know if that was a factory mod or not. So that is what I ended up using a logic probe, simple logic probe on normal settings. Uh, pulse was set on, and I just kind of checked this chip out, and that gave me uh, that gave me my input. Now this is the logic probe I used. And that gave me this little chip right there was the problem <laughs> and I didn't have to replace that chip luckily I had one laying around from a pole from somewhere the other thing uh, yeah I just checked everything out when I was out here I removed that huge heat sink these do get to uh, about 105 degrees Fahrenheit 93 Fahrenheit 102 Fahrenheit so that actually should be fine i went from four amps to 35 amp bridges because that's what i had and it was just a mess i was like can i eliminate this plate because i couldn't get to any of these contacts to test them place both my capacitors here uh replace both my uh diodes or one n four zeros or ones or fours or whatever i put my one in four zeros or sevens because that's all i stock five by a hundred they're a few cents a piece and they're um i don't know if they're bad or not but cheap insurance just replace some old silicone and um, uh, there's also on the back side was a filter cap for my five volts and that was like 8,000 uh, microfarad. I put like a much higher one in there and that's gonna give me a, a good filter for my five volt logic. So pretty much, I just gotta figure out how to hang it, do a little bit more cleaning, find that one part and, uh, and it's done. So uh, I will uh, follow up once I get that other part, once I get it hung up and uh, let you know but for right now I'm pretty happy it was a few hours of work of troubleshooting and it was a relatively easy fix with a logic meter a logic probe a little bit of the schematic a little bit of time just taking an understanding about what's happening and understanding of high and low thank you for watching stay tuned for more